Yeah, hi viewers. Just a quick update on the progress of the CS Lister here. Now I've pulled the big end bearing off. Check the bearing journal and uh, it looks in pretty good nick. Just gave it a quick clean up and measured it. It's two and a half inches. No sign of any major wear on it, which is good, so how to use standard bearings. Now here are the bearings that came off. You can see there's been a problem. The white metal is being dragged around, being, it's been picking up, and it's it's completely smeared out. So I'd say that there was an oil problem with the engine at some stage. Probably the oil level ran too low for the dipper to pick the oil up and throw it up to the bearings. So luckily, it's only damaged the bearings and hasn't affected the crankshaft journal. I found some old uh, bearings that were old new stock which haven't been used but these are the original probably list of spares when the days these engines are made and these bearings are both in good condition so they'll be used when I put this engine, engine back together. Now the fuel pump, I'll pull that apart and clean it up. So it's all moving nice and free now, and the pump works really well. And same with the injector. Pull the injector out, cleaned it out, cleared the nozzle and everything, and that's working well. So I've just got it set up where I can spin it over. So it's giving a good spray pattern so that injector will be good to be reused with the engine and just having a little cylinder here haven't got to uh, clean it out yet but the water galleries are full of calcium minerals the cooling water they use is pretty rough pretty hard water so it's left a lot of mineral deposits which I need to clean out with some acid or something With a cylinder head, I managed to pull out the valves. So the valves uh, came out pretty easy. Well, they weren't in, weren't stuck in very hard, so wasn't too much trouble getting them out. But I noticed that the exhaust port here is all but blocked up with carbon, which would have made the engine very hard to start and probably impossible to start, I'd imagine, with that much carbon, including the exhaust outlet. And also the water galleries are completely blocked with mineral. So I have to try and dis dissolve all that lot out with some acid or something. As for the valves themselves, that's the exhaust valve here. The valves are in pretty good condition. I've gave them a buff up on the wire wheel just to clean them up and valve faces are good. So they'll be able to be lapped in again and reused. That's the inlet valve. Also in pretty good condition really the valve springs were completely uh, sort of blocked in with dirt and accumulations of years of rubbish in here yeah had so much dirt in that just being blown in on top into the engine from the dust storms and stuff over the years so yeah, the head will have to be fully cleaned up. I pulled apart the rocker gear, cleaned all that up and that should be good to go again. And same as the oil pump here. The oil pump dismantled and cleaned. And that's ready to be put back in, on the engine when the time comes. So hopefully the next video will be of probably getting the engine reassembled and, and up and running again. So stay tuned folks.